uh, the fact that Native Hawaiians in this state uh, rank as uh, having the worst health status. That includes uh, cancer rates, uh, diabetes, heart disease, cardiovascular disease, and mental health. Uh, with the mental health issues specifically are suicide, uh, drug abuse, and other substance abuses, uh, particularly crystal methamphetamine and alcohol. We also have uh, bigger problems in terms of family discord. What, what, what do you two think, what are the root causes of the problem that you articulated so well, the higher incidence of disease, of, of uh, substance abuse, of alcoholism, of family discord? What are the root causes of there being such a high incidence among some of the native Hawaiians versus other groups? Um, I know what Nalini is talking mm -hmm. about. Actually, she and I have worked together many times. I think that part of our, our the origins of the problem stem from the fact that we are dispossessed people. We are not in control of our destiny. We are not in control of our land base. Ever since contact, which is 1778, contact with the West, we have had a terrible problem with trying to regain control of our destiny. First, the impact of Western diseases, um, which really results in a tremendous decline of our people. And we're still living with that legacy today. Then coming into the period of the overthrow in 1893, a humiliating act of uh, taking away our self-government. And then, in 1900, forcible citizenship in another nation called the United States of America. During the territorial period, listed as a non-self-governing people with the United Nations. Um, no sense of control. And I think that's reflected in the kind of problems that Nalina is talking about. A people cannot feel that they are whole in their universe, which is the Hawaiian way of looking at the natural environment, um, if they have no control over their destiny. And then you get the kind of behaviors that Nalina is talking about. Hawaiian health, prior to the coming of the Western world, was very much focused on the spiritual in combination with the physical. Once that's severed, the Hawaiians feel that they have no control and no um, no real place for themselves. And that results, I think, in the kind of problems that Nalene is talking about. Yeah, I think, I think I'd agree. And what you've really summarized is the, w when you look at disease in a biopsychosocial model, Hanani He has, uh, has really summarized very nicely the psychological and especially the social impact. And if you fit that together with what we're seeing in terms of t statistics, you're really talking about the biological and the psychological manifestations of colonialism and of uh, just a severe devastation of our people.